did on Monday, so getting there, even though there's still loads of things I don't know. <laughs> Today I've learned I need a bot, which I don't even know what that is. And I've learned that you need that emoni, emo, emo things aren't emojis. They're so, whatever they are. They're not emojis. They're something else. And apparently I can get those if I ever get to 50 followers. So <laughs> I've learned lots of new things. Yeah, it is all. It is. Yeah. Like I say, hello. I do know lots more today than I did Monday. <laughs> Although I know lots more, I now know there's lots more that I don't know because I didn't even know about bots or emo things, whatever they are. Not emojis, emo, I don't know. So it's all a lot to take in, but I know I'm going to get there because... I already know loads <laughs> more than I did. That's it, emo emotes, that's it. I don't think I'm allowed those unless I get to 50 followers or something. Which I don't think is going to happen this year. So I think I've got a while before I have to worry about those. <laughs> then once you get affiliate... Oh gosh, yeah, that... <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, that I think that's quite a while off getting that far. But I'm, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying doing this. It's just like I'm just my normal day, sat crafting, talking to myself. And but now I get people to talk to on here, which is much better it's much cooler than just sitting there talking to myself <laughs> although I am talking to myself some of the time uh, I do tend to waffle and ramble on are you streaming today laser geek have you been streaming are you streaming later Still keep moving this. If I move my chair this way, then I won't be. That's it. Right. Stay in this bit here. I don't know if I'll be at fifty in no time. I think I'd, I'd be really happy if I got to fifty at, by Christmas. I'd be really, really happy. I think that'd be so cool. Uh, that'll give me time to learn what what happens then by then <laughs> you are streaming all oh, right cool I know how to send a raid to people now. That's something I didn't know. I know how to do that now. I mean, not that I've done it because <laughs> it was yesterday. I was, um, I'd got to just gone three hours and I was getting a bit tired. So I thought, oh, um, I'll leave it now. And I think I had 12 people watching me, I think. And I thought, oh, well, I'll send them to someone because like you, people have, people have been sending people to me so I thought well I'll send them to someone so I looked on my thing and I saw someone who um, had um, 10 it was 10 people follow you know watching him so I thought oh, I'll send them to him or her don't know what well, it was a him or her and um, trying to figure out how to send it but it turns out I was on the wrong screen on my laptop because I'm recording this on my phone and my phone won't connect to my laptop 
it's the same stream or something because my laptop's a bit old. Um, I was trying to do the raid on my laptop on the chat and of course it wasn't working. Um, so then I thought, oh, I've got to do it on my phone. So I went to go on my phone, which I'm recording on, and it killed my stream. And just as it killed my stream, the guy I was going to send the raid, going to send my people to, he sent his people to me, so, which was really funny. <laughs> And so then I had a mega panic and I was like, oh my God, no, <laughs> I've, just, I've just killed my stream and I can't get it back. So I'm on my laptop quickly. Luckily, I've got myself a lovely lady who's a, a moderator for me. So she's all said, no, she is here. She's just lost her stream. I know. So it took me about five minutes to get it back. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get it back. And it was just funny. I was, I was going to send my people to him and then he sent them to his to me. But I stayed on for another hour then. But now I know how to do it. Now I know I've got to have my laptop on my creator screen and then I can send a raid to somebody. As if I've got enough people to send a raid to people. But at least I know that. That's one thing I know how to do now. So I'm quite pleased with myself now. After that stress of that and <laughs> panic of that yesterday. <laughs> Typing. Yeah, that's what I did, you see. That's what um that's what I did. I was doing that because I've I'm I've got my laptop next to me, just um to my left of me, which I'm watching myself on and look at reading the chat. But I'm videoing myself on my phone. So I was typing it in on my laptop. You know, the line raid and the username, but it just wasn't working, it was just coming up in the chat. And then I realised that was because I think the way I had it, it thought I was a viewer on my laptop, not me, not the streamer, I think. So then I thought, oh, well, I'll do it on my phone then. I'll go on the chat side on my phone and then I killed it. But now I know I have to, on my laptop, I have to have my uh, creator, what is it, creator dashboard and then go into a bit on that, and then, then I can do it. So now I know that, now I know that. So I won't have a, mad, a mega panic again. But it's just funny how he was sending, I was trying to send mine to him, and he was sending his to me at the same time, or her, I don't know. So. But like you say, it's all a learning thing, so learn something new every time. Yes. <laughs> it would have been fun if I hadn't killed my stream. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I was I was really tired and I thought, oh no I can't do any more because I've you know I thought I've got three hours. I was getting tired. And um, then he sent them. But because I'd had like a panic, like stress, oh, my God, oh, my God, I've lost my stream, quit trying to get it up. And um, while Lolly was moderating on the thing and saying, no, she is coming back, she just lost the stream. And that sort of sort of bucked me out of being tired again. So I was sort of all right then to go on for another hour. So <laughs> gave me a bit of an adrenaline rush, I think. <laughs> panic. <laughs> Look into Nightbot as it runs without you needing to have an additional programs running. Right, okay. And I find that on Twitch somewhere, do I? I I did go on. There's a section on the Twitch that you there's three squares and it shows you can pick one where you add extra things and you can have the um add all the features and things, but it wanted to set up my webcam and everything. And I don't have my webcam. Oh, right. I will Google it. I don't have my webcam on my laptop. I've actually got black ink over it. And it, 
it tried to set that up and I thought, oh, no, I don't want you doing that because I'm not actually using my laptop to stream it. So, yeah, I will Google it. The guy earlier on Phantom, he mentioned about getting a bot. He said that was a, that was a good idea. And he said I need more, he will need more moderators. But I thought, well, I don't think I have enough people watching me to, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you have a moderator per so many people. I don't know. I've got one so far. Yeah, yeah, that's why I've only got one because um, she, she's a lady that who, she's watched every single one of my streams and she was, um, she spent the whole four hours with me when I did my first stream. She kept me company for the whole four hours. And then when I said about moderators, she offered and so, and she was really good yesterday when I was having this panic. <laughs> Telling everybody that I was there, and I was... <laughs> yeah, I will Google it and look in, look at, look at the bot thing. Yeah, she was. She's yeah, she's really lovely. Well, I don't know. I don't know her obviously, but she was really lovely on here and really supportive and really helpful when I when I rushed off to get the door because my door was doorbell was going she if when someone came in she said oh no, I, you know I'd be back and I just gone to answer the door or whatever so definitely picked the right person to be a moderator just looked at my the channels I'm following it seems to be a weird time of day for people streaming is it I don't know because I've got of people I follow I've only got three that are actually online and two of those are uh, wildlife ones so they're on all the time just we'll just you put controls over certain things like link sharing filters all oh, right okay yeah i will um i'll look into that later If everyone else has got a bot, then I definitely want one.
the right. Okay, cool. No, I definitely need one then. If it plays stupid sound, I need one of those. Maybe she should just last little bit to finish off her head. So we can just take that through there. Bit weird for streamers, the oldies are going to bed and the Americans are sleeping, the Europeans are working. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, just deemed old. I just looked and I've got well, there's three now. Two, like I say, two of them are animal ones, so they're all all the time. And then there's one crafter on. Oh, and one that's a guy just um, streams his aquarium, and so that's another one that's just on all the time. Maybe this isn't the right time for me to stream, but then I suppose, then saying that, maybe it is the right time for me to stream. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe I should pick another time. Here we go. All right, that bit there so that we can join. We might do some hair on there while we're at it. Um, use this, I don't know if this goes through, let's see if this goes through the beads. Oh yeah. Okay, maybe wrong time. Do some hair. I'm going to do some hair on her and I'll use this thicker wire because then I can put the beads on and then bend it to make it. I know gingerbread people don't have hair, but it's crafting license. I don't know if these ones fit on here. These little pearl ones. Oh, yeah, they do. Right, that's cool. Just thread a lot of these gold ones on to make hair. These pearl type ones are coated with something that the holes don't always go right through. Because they're covered in something, so the holes are sometimes covered over.
Actually, I'll feed it back through. Oh no, I won't. I'll do a little hook and then turn it the other way. And then it'll go on the bottom of the bead. Do that and then. Come on, you stupid boy. That's it. That's it. There we go. Stop them all falling off yet. That's it. Do some more. Painful. I'll put a random blue one in it. I always have to put a random blue one in everything I make and call it a signature. I do that with all my, not a random different colour bead, but um, in my resin work that I do, I do a little tiny copper wire heart and set it in somewhere in all my resin work. But I don't want to accidentally put a wrong colour bead in my copper there because then I'll have to make it my signature bead. <laughs> I don't really want to do that. When I was saying that, I suppose that would be not a bad idea. But I suppose it's a bit late now because I've made, over the years, about a hundred of these copper wire creatures. So I'd have to go back and put a random coloured bead of my signature bead in all of them then. I used to. I have got an Etsy shop. Um, I did use to sell them. I used to... Uh, do custom ones for people. Oops. But I haven't put anything in it for... haven't sold any for about... Oh, gosh, I don't know. My brain doesn't... My brain's no good. Like I said the other day, I thought the last time I did some of this wire work was last October. It turns out it was in 2015. <laughs> Because I looked on my Amazon to see where I bought my beads from. And the last time I bought them was in 2015. And then I realised that's actually the last time I did any of these. So I probably haven't sold any. It was probably 
was 2015 when I, I um, stopped selling them. Not for any reason. I think I just wasn't well for a few weeks and then sort of just stopped doing it. But yeah, I used to sell them. I um, normally sell them like these. Um, so they on a ribbon so they hang because they, they shine if you hang them up in a window or something they that's a lizard am I holding it in the right place yeah it's a lizard there um they um they shine if you also like you can wear them as necklaces it's got a little heart in there Brooches. Yeah, people would ask for certain things, like a lady had four cats, four sitting up cats. Um, so I did them in twos, facing towards each other, and she wanted them different colours to represent a friend who had four cats, so she wanted to send them to a friend who had four cats. And then I've done um, different types of dogs as well. I mean, you've got to remember these are, you know, they're not realistic looking. You know, donkey. So, this sort of, if someone had a, like I have had my fur baby, Matilda, a Bernese mountain dog, then I would do like the white tummy and the brown bits on the legs and then the mainly black. So. Oh, thank you. Don't forget, you see, you can, you've got the chance to win the Christmas alligator wire um, thing when, um, when I finish this whole project and then I will make the Christmas alligator wire thing um, on my stream and then put all my followers' names into a bag and draw one out and that person will win the Christmas alligator. I'll send it to them. I mean, as long as they don't mind, you know me having an address of some sort to send it to them I know some people don't like that but if I've um by the time I finish this I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish this whole Christmas thing if by some mad bizarre miracle I've got over 50 followers then I'm going to make two or three Christmas crocodiles and draw out names for two or three of them oh the bot can do a raffle oh can it Oh, right, cool. But then I might just, like I say, it might be nice if I just put them in a box and then I'll just draw one out. You know, people can see that I've put everyone's name in individually and then I'll close the box up and just put my hand in and grab one out. So. Do you think the bot can make me a cup of tea? <laughs> and bring me snacks. <laughs> Chocolates. <laughs> Chocolates and sugar mice be nice. Can the bot do that? Just got to get used to putting my hands in the right place. Luckily, I've got my screen so I can see myself doing this although it's behind a bit isn't it um I'll get used to putting my hands in the right place so you can see what I'm doing there is a service that allows followers to order you food oh yeah I want that <laughs> order me pizza <laughs> Belgium chocolates and pizza. <laughs> Even having McDonald's and McDonald's would be all right. I haven't had a Mc. I don't think I've had a McDonald's for a couple of years, but oh yeah, I need that service then. I was looking on um, some people's streams yesterday. Some makers and crafters and people have got like an Amazon wish list but when I clicked on some of the items they had on them 
and it took me to the thing on you know took me if I, when i clicked on it on their channel and it took me to amazon and their list and when if i clicked on one of the items to put it in the basket all it kept coming up with at the top is um we cannot amazon marketplace items cannot be sent to gift something or others so i thought well how do you send someone a streamer a gift then if you if it won't do it because I'm assuming part of the point is that they don't give you their address. And it, Amazon, I'm assuming the whole point is that they don't give you an address. You go on Amazon, you go on their wish list, you click something, you put it in a basket and it automatically sends it to them without you having to have their address. Isn't that the point? But every time I went on several, several different people's channels who had Amazon wish list, And every time, whatever I clicked on in their basket, it said that it, you couldn't. You couldn't send an Amazon Marketplace item. Do you know what I mean or anything about that? Because that just seemed a bit odd. But, you know, I wouldn't let me send it anyway. No. Maybe, I wonder if it's because I'm in the UK and maybe they were in the USA yeah I have you got one on yours have you got an Amazon wish list on your channel let me have a look Wow, you've got a lot of followers. Brilliant. Oh, of course, yeah, you're from Scotland. I'm sorry, I'd forgotten that you were from Scotland because I said how you've got those... Um, I think I must have said how you've got those um, macaroon bars. Oh, I love macaroon bars. And the Scottish tablet. Oh, but macaroon bars because I can't get them here. You cannot get macaroon bars. Oh... No, you haven't got one on yours, have you? I don't know, it's just weird. It wouldn't, I didn't get why it wouldn't let me... Um... Do it. Right. do for a hair I think we'll put a little swiggly bit in the middle of it I think put a little twiddly bit in the middle Should I have it facing down? No, up. Let's put one more bead in it so it goes more of a circle. Right. Okay. There we are, and we'll put that on there. Let me just stop holding it. Let me just cut this off. And... Oh, okay. Thanks for keeping me company. I'll see you later. Hopefully, I'll catch you later on your stream. Have a good day, won't you? Thank you. 
Take care. Hi, anyone coming in to chat with me? Say hi. Or don't say hi, doesn't matter. If you haven't watched me before, anyone who's there hasn't watched me before, I am. This is my fourth stream, and I am doing a making a copper wire Christmas wall decoration. And I'm at the moment making all the elements to go round a central copper wire present shape, which will have all the elements that I'm making round it. If you want to see the ones I've made already, if you jump on the chat, I'll show you them. I don't want to show you them if you've already seen them. <laughs> right. Do that in half so our hair is the same both sides. There we go. And that'll be a hair. I think we'll curl it up at the ends. <laughs> Do it level with it. Do them both at the same time then. Here we go. And we'll sit that on there. That will be our hair. Just secure that with a little bit of wire. Just securing her hair onto her head. There we go, there's our hair. Right, let's cut that bit off. And then we'll do her arms, I think. Oops. 
bow shaped beads yeah do you want do you need some for your modeling yeah you can get bow shaped beads they're about you can get ones about obviously bow shaped but probably about that size but bow shaped Or obviously bigger than that, but you can get that small bow shaped. Oh, for a hair, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just could do a little flower. Um, you know, hair like oh, the gingerbread man on his buttons. I could do put one of those in her hair, so they match. Right, I'm just going to quickly just go and grab a drink, if that's okay. Um, There we go. I shall be back in five minutes or less.
was like, okay, I'm back. Just got myself a drink and I made some Marmite bread this morning and a, um, and some soft cheese. So I've just got a piece of that because I'm hungry. Right. Hi, anyone who's joined me. If you want to say hi in the chat, please do. But if you don't, that's fine too. Right, let's carry on with this little gingerbread girl. Let's do her arms. It is yummy. Da da da. It's having the a bit off the edge because it's cool now. And I made some soft cheese as well, which is mega easy. Obviously, got loads of butter on it as well. <laughs> video it it's um I just need to edit it for it to be on YouTube later Oops, we'll do her arms up to there because this bit here will be her little dress. So we'll just finish them there and then she's got like a short sleeve dress on. I'm finished doing her arms and I'll start another Christmas element to go on the big thing because I can't finish her dress until the, my beads have arrived from Amazon.
actually when I finish doing her arms we'll carry on with um, the other one that we started yesterday out of the box which is going to be a small holly wreath that's the next element so I'll carry on with that one Oh, it's raining. It is now raining. Which is actually nice because it's made it look nice and cool. That's her one and a half done. Throw all that back through there. Let's do her other arm. Oh yeah, it's lovely and cool in here now. Now the rain's outside. It's starting to get hot again because it hadn't rained for a couple of hours. It was raining earlier. And it was starting to get a bit warm again, you know, a bit too warm again, but now it's a nice cool breeze coming through. Now it's raining. some reason this rose coloured wire it gets a lot of kinks in it the others it gets the odd one but this one's particularly bad I wonder whether it's a different make hmm. and then it won't go through the beads
If anyone's watching me who doesn't already follow me, I would really appreciate a follow. And then you will get entered into my competition to win a copper wire Christmas alligator. When I've finished doing this whole project, I will make the alligator on my live stream and then draw name of one of my followers out of a bag to win the Christmas alligator. So drink a bit of my tea. No, unfortunately I can't do this with one hand, so It's raining quite hard outside now. At least I haven't had to water my garden for the last two days because of the rain, which is good. I need a greenhouse.
has got in the way. So I'm just drinking my tea. Oh, hi Raiders, hi everyone, welcome to my channel, lovely to see everybody, thanks Craftworks, really appreciate that, thank you so much, <laughs> hi, I'm doing okay, thanks Craftworks, thanks for that, do appreciate it. Hi Blades, hi Nightbear, hi Ali Pop, hi Dark, Dark Raven, hi Trace, hi Yon Lion, hope I haven't missed anybody. Hi everyone, you're very welcome to my channel to chat with me, lurk or Ask me any questions you want. This is my fourth stream on here. I only started on Twitch on Monday. 
but I'm slowly getting the hang of it and a little bit less scared today. <laughs> At the moment, I'm... Um, I love that quack attack thing. That's so cool. <laughs> um, I'm making a copper wire, which I've it's recycled. It, I've taken it out of a lot of electrical cable. It's all my copper wire that I'm using. And I'm making, I'm going to start, make a copper wire present, which will be the centre. And then round it, attached all the way round, it'll be to go on the wall, will be lots of Christmas elements. So, so far we've got a funky tree, a dove, the, the bits that are left on the top are so that I can attach it, a candy cane, a gingerbread man who isn't finished yet because I'm waiting for some more beads to arrive from Amazon and our gingerbread lady who again won't be finished because I'm waiting for the beads for her dress to arrive it's what I'm just doing at the moment and as soon as I've just finished her in a second I'll be carrying on with this a holly a small holly wreath and these will all be attached all round a central um, piece I will also be making, when I finish this, which will be a few more streams yet, I'm going to be making a Christmas alligator. And anyone who follows me, follows really, really appreciated, because as I say, I'm new on here. Um, anyone who follows me, I will be, when this is all put together, I will make a Christmas alligator and then draw, put all the names of all my followers and my lovely followers into a bag and draw out one and they will win the Christmas alligator. So if you'd like to a chance to win a Christmas alligator, then please press the follow button to follow me. That would be great. Oh, thank you, Minimal Trace. Thank you. When I started doing my stream, my first stream on Monday, I was setting it all up. I thought, right, let's just bite the bullet and go for it. And I was going to do... Um, needle felting but then in the last couple of minutes while I was setting my phone up to stream I thought no nope, I won't I'll do some wire work so then it was sort of spur of the moment well, what shall I do so I thought I know I'll do something over a few quite a few streams that builds up into a big thing so that's what I've chosen to do right so I'm just doing the last just doing her little arms because this will be her dress which so I'm waiting for the beads to arrive and then I shall carry on with the um, holly wreath, which is the next element I'm doing. What's everyone up to today? Anyone doing anything exciting today or at the weekend? Other than being on Twitch, which is really, really addictive, isn't it? So it's all new to me, but I've, I've become a bit addicted to watching people making things and creating things on here because there's some really really clever people don't really follow and educate how will you know when i don't know how to do that i don't know how to do that sorry if someone if you can tell me how i do that because i did think that i did think oh my gosh i hope if someone follows me i i don't know how to i know i've seen other streams where someone follows and it comes up and tells them so how do I do that, please? And then I'll do it straight away. So then I can thank people for following me. Hi, unicorn. Lovely to meet you. Oh, well, that, I don't know. I'm assuming, I hope that's a good thing. I hit follow just, oh, thank you. Thanks for following me, Mini Trace. Mini, uh, sorry, got my tongue. Blah, blah, blah. Minimal Trace. Trace. Thank you for following me. That's really lovely of you. And you are now being entered into the draw to win a Christmas alligator, <laughs> which I'm assured is a real thing. And we actually did search it in chat the other day, and we did actually find 
a Christmas decoration of an alligator with a Father Christmas sat on his back. So Christmas alligators are a thing and I will be making a Christmas alligator and all my followers will go into a draw to win it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Unicorn. Really, really do appreciate the follows. As I say, I only started on Monday, so still a bit oh, scary. Um, but yes, I don't know how to get a thing up that tells me when someone is following me. I don't know if it's something I can't get yet until I've got 50 followers. But if someone knows and knows how I can get it up there, I would appreciate it. And then I will put it up so that I can thank people as they follow me. But at the moment, I'm not knowing someone's following me unless they tell me. Unless I click and look on a different screen. Right, that's as far as I can go with our little gingerbread girl at the moment. So he's cheers to go with him. He's He's not quite done yet his, his head will be changed but I'm just waiting for the rest of the beads but she will be going with him um so I'm just waiting for the rest of the beads to arrive from Amazon so like I said on Monday I had no idea as I was setting this up that I was even going to be doing this so I don't, haven't got enough beads for everything so we'll leave her to the side for the minute and then we'll carry on with this but I'll just have to go to pages such as hang on Streamlabs. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I will sort that out later. I did see that on something. That Streamlabs. Thanks for that. Um, and and then I and I'll get it. See if I can get it added on. Thank you. Because yeah, I don't like. I hate it if people are following me and I'm not saying thank you. Because that's just that's just rude, isn't it? <laughs> and I don't want to. You know, I I do really appreciate if people are watching me and follow me. Like I say, and you also follow me, you get the chance to win a Christmas alligator. Which everyone needs a Christmas alligator on the tree, I can assure you. Ah, oh, right, here we go. Um, thank you to Yon Lions. Thank you for following me. Really appreciate it. Dark Raven as well. Thank you so much for following me. Really appreciate that too. Minimal Trace, obviously. Thank you to you too. Um Uh, this one that I'm doing, oh, sorry, also thank you, Unicorn, and thank you, Renee, Steve, Renee Stevens, thank you so much for following me. I really, really do appreciate follows, to say, because I am new on here, so it's all a bit scary and a bit, loads of things I don't know yet what I'm supposed to be doing, but um, um, will they be for sale? The, the thing I'm actually making at the moment, it's the all these elements, they are all going to be put round a large uh, central wire thing to make a decoration that to go on a wall but I do make I did used to sell some on Etsy but I, I do have an Etsy shop but I don't have it open at the moment but obviously if people wanted to buy these they can but I did used to I do have them individual ones like there's a, I mean, you can see him properly. That's a, a gecko or a lizard of some sort. Um, these are other things that I have made in the past. Donkey. And there's a little, just a pink pig. Can everyone see these all right? Am I, do you want me to put my camera a little bit closer? I'm streaming this on my phone. So. And then we've got things like little things they can also as well as just being hangings they can I can make smaller things and like that's a, a pendant with three hearts and then a little tiny heart in or this which I won't be able to show you all of it as a it hangs down in a line a penguin and a giraffe and an elephant and a bear and that just hangs down in a long line oh good good glad you can see them okay so i've done quite a few different ones over the years i thought um 
when I was sat talking about them the other day, I said I thought I'd last time I'd made some, because I do a lot of different crafts, a lot of different crafts. I thought that the last time I'd made some, that's, that's um, I mean, towel, that's a long haired chihuahua with a little, on his foot, like a pendant, because he's smaller. Um, I thought that the last time I'd made some of these was in October last year, but it turns out it was 2015 was the last time I actually made some of these. So, um, quite a while back. But I like making them because I can just sit and do that. I do them mainly as um, now, as, um, oh, it's got hooked up. Trying to show you this one, but it's got hooked up where I've been moving everything about so much. This is just a hanging there with love, love in it, and then the hearts that hangs down. They shine if you hang them up in the window. The light shines because these are all glass beads, not plastic. So, right, let's carry on with this holly leaf um like i say if you follow me then you will get a chance to win a crocodile a christmas sorry not a crocodile alligator let's get another piece of wire um and if um by some sort of miracle i've actually got to 50 followers by the time i've finished this christmas project and i'm live streaming doing the the um alligator then i may make two or three christmas alligators or maybe something else if someone wants to suggest something and then i will give those away as well so. what am i doing oh holly <laughs> all right So is anyone up to anything cool over the weekend? Going anywhere, if anyone's going out? I think I've got a bit addicted to Twitch, so I'll probably be watching lots of these. Lots of crafters on here. Does anyone who's watching me, does anyone do any streaming on here on anything that I can watch later when I'm not streaming? Bearing at home in the heat. It is hot, isn't it? I say it's um, it's actually raining here at the moment, so it's quite nice because I've got my patio doors open here and next to right next to me, and um, it's a little bit cooler now because it is actually raining. It's not raining a lot. It's quite fine, but it's made it cooler. Just you know, sort of bearable, bearable now. Stream card making. Oh, brilliant! Oh, cool. Rain, not rain. <laughs> yeah, it just so makes it so much cooler, doesn't it, when it's raining. It's just lovely. Nobody likes it when it rains, but when it's been so hot, it's just so lovely. Car making... Oh, right, unicorn. I'll have to check those out then. Brilliant. I just, I, like I say, I didn't really know anything about Twitch a couple of weeks ago. But I'm really enjoying watching other people making things on here. I'm always open to suggestions for things to make or different things to try. The nights have been unbearable. Yeah, they have. It's so hot, isn't it? It's so hot. It's just horrible. I saw a tip on the news the other day, and that was to put your sheets in the freezer before you go to bed and your pillowcases in the freezer. I haven't done it, but I was actually thinking, yeah, if you put your pillowcases in the freezer, it might be quite nice. Just put your head on a cold, really cold. I don't think I'd want to put my 
my whole all my my sheets in there. I don't know if I'd want it all be freezing cold getting to bed. Might be a bit much, but a pillowcase might be nice, you know, in a freezer. Body painters on here. Oh wow, I haven't even seen any body painters on here. Oh wow. I love body painters. There was a programme on TV. I can't, I can't remember what it's called now. They started off, they start off with 10 of them and then they work down and then someone wins it. And they do body painting and stuff. Oh, oh right. That must, it's, I'm guessing that's under art. I haven't looked under the art section. Oh, wow. I really want to watch some of those. I've been watching glass blowers a lot because I find that really, really interesting. It's so clever. But, um, and also the lady on here who's um, been following me, uh, Mrs Distinct, and her husband, and she does um, book cutting and book folding. And that um, is really, I find that, I've never done that. I've done millions of different crafts, and I do lots of different crafts, but I've never done that either. And it's, um, it's just so intricate and clever. Just loved watching her do that. Face off, yeah, that's it. When you said face off, I was thinking of that um, Nicolas Cage and um, John Travolta film. Then I thought she's saying face off, and then of course, yes, it was called face off. That's it. Yes, yeah, I love that. They do some amazing um, body painting. I will definitely have to check out body painters on here. Definitely. I didn't know there were any. Like I say, I've only been looking in the makers and creators really. Makers, makers and crafters work. Yeah. But I'm already addicted, so <laughs> I come off my stream because I normally need a nap and need to lay down because it sort of wears me out with my illnesses. Um, but then I end up seeing what else is on Twitch and watching those and never get my nap. <laughs> There's just too many things on here that I like watching. Doing it's just a rough holly leaf. I should be good at doing holly leaves. I've got a whole massive big load of holly growing up the fence right outside. So holly and ivy all growing up the fence outside. But I think this is sort of what they look like. <laughs> a few names to look up. Yes, brilliant. Yes, please. Oh, I'm... Well, I'm sort of a night owl. I'm sort of a. I'm lucky if I get to, really lucky and really ecstatic if I manage to sleep for four hours. So I do tend to be up quite early. So yes, I can watch people in the middle of the night. But yes, give me a couple of names to watch. That'd be great. Thank you. Right, that's that one done. We just twist over. So I'm leaving tails off things because I'm not sure exactly yet how I'm going to, how I am going to join all the elements together. At the beginning, I was going to solder them all round it, but now I'm thinking I might just sort of wire twist them together. So I am leaving sort of tails in case that's how I do do it so that I can try and join them all together in, in pieces. But these is, this is going to go round making like a, a am I in the right place sorry I'm holding this out of the way shout at me if I do that sorry for doing um that's one thing I haven't got used to yet is having my hands in the right place although I've got it on my laptop screen because I'm streaming this using my phone right or just shout at me if I move too far away I'm doing a small holly wreath so just going around doing the holly wreath so if anyone wants to suggest and Christmas element that I can do when we've done the holly wreath. Oh, brilliant. OK. I'll keep a note of those and um, 
I'll look those up later. Thanks for that, Minimal Trace, and I appreciate that. I'll look at some of those later. Yeah, I do like, I do think that's very clever body painting. Right. We'll do another one on the same piece of wire because then I just do what I've done here and just fold them, fold them over each other instead of having to join each one separately. Just fold it. That's the end of that piece of wire and I've just folded it over so that they, you won't see all this bit in the middle when I've done it because there'll be beads over it. This is just the framework for it. Oh, thank you. That is helpful. Thank you. Because say, because I'm new on here, there's loads of things I haven't seen, loads of things I don't understand. This morning I found out I need a bot. <laughs> Didn't even know what a bot was. Um, just found this something called emotes, which I thought they were emojis, but they're something completely different. So <laughs> I know a lot more today than I did Monday, but I also <laughs> learnt things, some more things today that I don't know. <laughs> If you know what I mean, because I didn't know anything about bots or emotes. And now I know I need them, but I still don't know anything about them. You know, I don't still got to look them up, find out how I get them and everything. Yeah, it has to be a, a Christmas element to go on this Christmas thing. Reindeer, snowman, snow lantern. Hmm. Okay. Reindeer, I think. I think possibly we'll do a reindeer next time. I've done a reindeer yet. I have done reindeers in the past. Reindeers and angels. So, yeah, okay then, mimic. Hi, plain and practical. No, his art thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you doing today? And thank you so much for that brilliant story yesterday. And I did go on Amazon and bought one of your books. The, um, oh gosh, not the farm one, the other one, <laughs> sorry, the other one. I did buy it for my Kindle yesterday, so I will read that later. But thank you for my story. I've been reading it to everybody. Love it, love it so much. It's brilliant. Plain and Practical wrote a story for me yesterday. Um, in the chat, a Christmas story about a Christmas alligator and a Christmas pickle on a tree. It was absolutely amazing, an amazing, brilliant story. So, so clever. Couple of boo-boos. Oh, yeah, well, that's that's ridiculous, yeah. I mean, I've got a book on Amazon and um, I wasn't going to, you know, luckily I had someone on a Twitter friend who edited mine for me for free. But mine's only a short story. But, um, yeah, I think unless you've got a... I don't know, you know you're going to sell you know thousands of them I think it's a little bit steep isn't it having editors I mean this guy who edited mine for free he's he spends like 2,000 or more getting his he's edited it head edited it's mad that's the job to be in I think then an editor yeah mine's got a few mistakes but no I think I'm immune to mistakes in books I just sort of still sort of I don't think I noticed them, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy reading it. I like, I enjoyed reading the descriptions. I thought, oh no, that sounds really funny. Not, you know, it sounds really about the horse and whatever. I think that's what it's. So I will read it later and leave you a review. But anyway, I bet it's not as good as the story that you did me yesterday in chat. Because <laughs> nothing can beat that. It was amazing. Get this. 
holly leaf. And then we're going to do a reindeer after we've done this one, but this has to have his beads on him first. So how Bobby's works with boo -boos. It's sort of a difference between a handmade book and a fa Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think maybe your next story, the ornaments will be hanging in a tree in a lovely shop. Trying to decide who will pick them out. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. In all trace, my novels don't have boobies, they have severely bleeding flesh. <laughs> it isn't my first. Well, there you go, then that's fair enough, isn't it? So, no. <laughs> oh dear. The worst thing in my one is that it um, was, is the formatting of it. Um, when I first put it on Amazon, I ended up with chapter starts of chapters like at the bottom of a page or three pages blank and then a chapter starting halfway down the page or the title of the chapter then a blank page then the title of the chapter again and then <laughs> oh it was a nightmare that was the worst bit for me was trying to get it the pages on there because I wrote my book you know I didn't do it on a laptop to start with I did it wrote it you know, notebooks, which is what I do my other book, do my books in, and then I transferred it. But yeah, that was the biggest nightmare for me was the format. You know, getting it the chapters in the right places and the starts and stops in the right places for when people read it. When I uh, got my first, let me try. Think of what you can't fix as spices in your stew when everything is bland and made to please everyone like most. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's true. Makes it more human, doesn't it? More human. Yeah, when I first when I first published mine on Amazon and I got my author copies, I nearly had a heart attack because they were just all over the place, all the chapters and everything. So I quickly halted it on Amazon and then spent a couple of days trying to f figure it out how to do it, because I'm not really very tech-minded. But it's OK now. I mean, the, the paperback is better than the Kindle one, because I tried to, to go back in and alter the Kindle one a second. I had to alter it a second time after someone had edited it, and it wouldn't let me do it. And so I gave up. So the Kindle's got a couple of mistakes in that the paperback hasn't. But it's OK, it's fine. I'm not messing with it anymore. Because <laughs> it would just drive me mad. We were on a day that crashed last month. and that... Oh, my God. Oh no, that's awful. You lost all your, oh my God. That's awful, Minimal Trace, that is awful. I so feel for you to lose all your work, that's horrendous. Oh gosh, I'd be gutted if that happened to me. I mean, I'm in the middle of two books, but if suddenly I lost everything that I'd written, I'd be like, oh, I'd be devastated. Everything here very backed up on servers is one of my worst fears. Yeah, do two woodworking books, but I think they will have to be ebooks. So many photographs. Oh, that's a cool idea woodworking books. Linus to the dent most in. Intrusions. So I'm all right because luckily I my books I'm writing are actually still in notebook in notebook form. <laughs> I've got my my Moomin book. This is my book where I'm writing one of my books in. Um, it's an it's an ironic it's ironic really if I told you what type of book I'm writing and I put it in a Moomin notebook. <laughs> Just made me laugh to myself, but and then I have another huge 
notebook on the floor which has got my other book in it because that way I can just take it out with me or um, and just not note things down all the time whereas having to without having to put my laptop on and by then I've forgotten what what I'd come up with sort of thing battery backup so I can stub my toe on under the desk <laughs> Right, there's another two leaves. Again, all I'll do is just fold that over like that and then they'll be... So I'll go round. So I'll leave those two. Uh, oh, actually, I might as well do a third one on this one. You're not going to lie, it hurts. I had four different novels I was working on. One vampire, one based on a role-playing game I've been doing since 95. One about a private army that finds lost artefacts from a lost first civilization. Another that starts in present day, transfers into a fantasy world, and falls one about a gang of. Oh God! And you lost a whole lot. That is awful. Oh gosh, I'd be gutted. I'd just. I'd be so upset. Oh. So can you can you remember? I mean, God, that's it's not you can't even respect. It must take ages. I would say, can you remember enough of it to redo it? But it's going to take you ages and ages and ages, isn't it? It's just oh, chapters as you finish them. That's not a bad idea. Or print them off, print them off, print them off as you finish them. And then at least you've got a, you know, a hard copy sort of thing. That's, that's even made me even more glad that I'm going a bit old school with it and just still writing mine, writing mine by hand and not put it on my laptop yet until it's sort of finished and then I shall write it all up on my laptop. That's maybe even more determined to keep it like that because, oh my God, I'd be absolutely gutted. I feel so bad for you, that's awful. Colouring them in Photoshop. Cool. If anyone who's watching me um, would like to follow me, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, I am going to be running a competition when I finish this main Christmas decoration. I will be making a Christmas gator, alligator, and out of wire and beads. And then I will be putting all my followers' names into a bag and drawing out a winner who will win the Christmas alligator. So any follows, really appreciated, and you will get the chance to win. And Christmas Gator. <laughs> Gosh, carbon paper, yeah, I use that all the time. Gosh. Funny, isn't it? Funny how everything, you know, things have changed. But yeah, definitely keep in mind in my notebook until it's all finished. Or maybe I'll better make a copy of that in case something happens to that. Not that I can think of anything happening to it. Not unless the house catches fire.
yeah, I've, um, where are they? Oh, we're done with them. Oh, oh, they're here. Oh, sorry. Oh, these were just mine before. I have made a couple of these for friends, but, um, I've got a dragonfly, which I've made a pin back. I mean, because I've made the pin and it's, um, they're okay on knitted things or heavy things, but you wouldn't want to put it free sign, it might make a hole. So there's a dragonfly pin. Oh, his little antenna has got crossed over. His, this is just my one. This was the first one I made, just as a like a practice one. Um, and then I've just got a little, a little bird as well with a little pin back. Just ones that I made for myself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, when she said about the gator, I mean, could not not make one, could I really? <laughs> but like I've said, if, if the miracle happens and I've reached 50 followers by the time I finish doing this Christmas thing, which I think is going to take me a while anyway, then I will make two or three gators. Christmas gators all slightly different and then I will give away two or three of them instead of just one to my followers but see how it goes right there's another three they will put those we'll put those just there to the side to do some another one another piece of wire that I have already straightened out right So I'm going to ask my question I ask every day, but what's everyone having to eat today? So I can have some ideas of what I might fancy to eat today. At the moment, I'm thinking I'm doing a salad because um, I've got loads of lettuces and salad leaves and herbs and stuff in my garden that have just gone a bit mad. So I feel like I need to pick loads of them and have like a big salad tonight and cucumbers and tomatoes already but I want to see what everyone else is eating so in case I change my mind <laughs> no salad doesn't sound good believe me not unless it's got, <laughs> got um, something interesting like a jacket potato with half a ton of butter on it with it <laughs> but it's just gone the lettuces have started to go mad and there's loads of cucumbers ready to be picked and so I thought no it's got to be salad If it wasn't salad, it was going to be fish and chips. I was going to have fish and chips delivered, but then I thought, no, I need salad. But what's everyone else having? Yeah, it is homemade, all right. Anything grown out the garden and picked to eat always just makes me smile. I just love growing stuff and being able to eat it out of the garden. Something with chicken, spaghetti with spicy tomato sauce or a hash mix, potato sausage, onion beef with beetroot and fried egg. Oh, that sounds yum. Yum. I've got some beetroots in the fridge because I did pull some beetroots up yesterday with some carrots. Something with chicken. I haven't got any chicken. I have got chicken, but it's in the freezer. So I don't think it would defrost in time now because it's half past one here in the afternoon. Obviously, so I don't think it's defrost in time for me to eat it for dinner. But, um, I think I might have salad with um, a jacket potato and tuna, maybe. Not sure yet. Anyone else having anything interesting? To eat, I can nick as an idea to to have. Now I've got the idea for this, might make a baked potato. 
yeah, that's what I'm, I might have with my salad as a jacket potato. I might just have, yeah, loads of salad with the cucumbers and tomatoes and some roasted beetroots from the garden and then just do a jacket potato with maybe some cheese on it. Or actually, I made cheese this morning. I made some soft cheese this morning. So I might just have some of that on because I made some... I've got it here. I brought it in here about an hour ago and I still sat here. Um, I made some... Um, marmite bread this morning and i made some soft cheese which i've got on the top of it with loads of butter and i was did get it to eat but i've only eaten one mouthful of it yet so i might have a jacket potato with some of my soft cheese that i made and um a massive salad i haven't actually had a jacket potato for quite a while actually but i had a delivery from the veggie shop at the weekend and there were some really nice big potatoes in there so perfect for jacket potato Wave KFC using crushed up chilli heatwave Doritos oh that's a good idea that's a good idea Darren I like that idea Yeah, it's soft cheese, homemade soft cheese I made. It's really, 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 really easy to make. Really easy to make. Just like soft cheese, you know, like Philadelphia or it's like that. Or you can make it like mozzarella. But that just that involves just one more step, but that even that's really easy. What is a jacket potato? Yeah, it's a what you um, call a baked potato. We call it a jacket potato. Well, I call it a jacket potato. It's the same thing. Yep, yeah, that's it. Oh, Darren's got it. Jacket potato, baked potato. <laughs> it's really easy. Um, it's just you just need milk, preferably whole milk, and um, either lemon juice, or you can use rennet, but. I have, I've got some rennet tablets, but I didn't use those this morning. You just need whole milk, um, lemon juice or vinegar. And that's all you need. And you basically just boil up the milk in a pan until, well, to make um, like a mozzarella, I just made soft cheese. So just boil up the milk until it gets to like 35 degree centigrade so just warm and then you just add the lemon juice not very much just like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of lemon juice or um, vinegar to it and then just give it a quick stir and then leave it for I don't know about 15 minutes well, I leave it for about 15 minutes then get um, either a fine sieve or a piece of like cheesecloth and pour the milk through it, put the cheesecloth or the fine sieve over a bowl, pour the milk mixture in, and by then it's separated into the curds and the whey. So you pour it through, and the curds that have been formed, they will stay in the cheesecloth or the sieve, and you just leave it like that just to drain. For I, do, I put it in the fridge and leave it for about half an hour. And then you just... Put, you can put salt in it then at that point and then just squidge it together and then you've got soft cheese. That's it, basically. That is it, that is it basically. It's mega easy. And you can add things to it. Obviously, I just put a little bit of salt in mine, but you could put herbs in it or chilli in it or whatever. But I just did it quickly while I was waiting for the bread, while the bread was cooking in the oven. So I just did it quickly. No. Right, a little wonky looking holly leaf. Let me do another one. No, I think we'll have enough. If I do another three on this one to put them together to make like a little wreath, and then we could start beading these up. Yes, I did ask. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, you can. Yeah, just you can put herbs in it, sage in it, or rosemary, or black pepper. 
Um, I did put black pepper in the one I did the other day or chilli, chopped up chilli or chilli flakes, whatever, anything you want really. And it'll keep for three or four days in the fridge. Not that I've actually kept mine that long because I normally use it the same day or day after sort of thing. But it's a good thing. I, I started doing it is if you've got milk that's... I don't actually use milk. I use almond milk. But um, if you've got... If you've... Like my mum, she drinks whole milk and she came to visit on Sunday. First time I've seen her since lockdown. And um, so I've got some whole milk for her. Well, of course, there's still loads left. So it's good if you've got milk left over that is just going to go or... You've got a new pint, so you want to use a new one. You can just use up, use it up, make some cheese. Right. Oh, stop raining now. I can tell because it's got a bit warmer again. Is anyone streaming today? Anyone here streaming today so that I can, when I finish mine, I can come and watch you later or let me know if you're streaming or what you're streaming because I'm liking watching other people doing things. anyone want to make me a cup of tea? <laughs> Don't take sugar. <laughs> oh no. Is it playing up with you? Playing and practical. Is Twitch playing up? It's okay, you didn't miss much. I was just telling, saying how to make soft cheese, how easy it is to make soft cheese. And then I've just asked if anyone can make me a cup of tea, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pot of coffee here, it's kind of still morning. <sighs> oh yeah, coffee will do then. Husband can sleep in until 8.30 every day. Just got him up and gave him a mug full of java on his desk. Oh, he's lucky. Can I have a mug full of java on my desk? <laughs> Extra specialty. By the way, it's a mix of apple, cinnamon, raisin flavour. Oh, my God. That sounds so nice. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I love different teas. I love different flavoured teas. My favourite. 
The one I was drinking just a minute ago was um, hazelnut and vanilla. It's a black tea, but it was hazelnut and vanilla. Which is my favourite one at the moment. Gonna finish getting dressed and going get to taking these 45 plastic containers out. Oh gosh. It's an auction, they're great for sorting hinges and knobs. Wow. I would rather you than me. <laughs> wow, that's good, isn't it? Wow. Bargain. But you won't be saying that now you've got to move them all. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. I appreciate the cup of tea. 